there's nothing more frustrating than getting a bowstring in the mail and it not even fitting your bow. So we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen to you today. First, I'm gonna show you how to order the right bowstring. Secondly, even if you miss measure, it's on us. We'll take care of it for you and send you the exact right string. Measure your string, beats AMO, beats measuring your bow. Let me explain. You want to measure your bowstring off of your bow. Each bowstring stretches, and so to get your actual bowstring length, you'll wanna measure it off of your bow. The best and easiest way to do this is to hook the loop of the bowstring over a nail or a screw or a hook, anything you've got, and put a tape measure on that. Just pull the string tight. You don't have to stretch it out. Just pull it tight and measure from the outside of the loop to the outside of the loop, and that's the exact number you put in on the website, and you will get the exact right string length every single time. That's the best, best way if you wanna make sure your string is accurate every time. Secondly, you can use AMO. This is a number that the manufacturer of the bow assigns to the bow. Basically what you need to do is a little bit of math. So take your AMO length, which will be stated on your bow, and for a recurve bow, minus four inches, for a reflex deflex bow, minus three and a half inches, and for a long bow, minus three inches. And that's going to be your actual bowstring length that you need to place on the website to get the right bowstring. And finally, if you have a bow, you pick one up at a garage sale, you buy one, a string doesn't come included or something like that, this is how, with a bow and there's no AMO marked on it, like you made your own bow, this is how you can find out what length of bowstring you need. Measure your string groove to the string groove. Measure the outer ends of it, but on the belly. So it's slightly confusing, but can work. A good way to do this is to use an actual string and measure it with a string and then line the string up on a table and use a tape measure to measure that out. Once you get that length of the string from outer string groove to outer string groove, this is your self-determined AMO. And from here, you repeat step two, minus four inches for a recurve, three and a half inches for a reflex deflex bow, and three inches for a long bow. If you have any more questions of how to get your exact string length, let me know and we'll take care of you.